next problem find the least number which is exactly divisible by 72 90 and 120 so here they are asking least number so when they are asking least number do not blindly start calculating the HCF they are not asking the HCF rather pay attention to this word which says you have to find a number which is divisible by these numbers it means the number which we have to find should actually come in the numerator and if that number is coming in the numerator basically that number is greater than our numbers which are given here in our case which is 72 90 and 120 so we have to find a number which is greater than these numbers so whenever the word is divisible we know we have to find the LCM and not HCF let us find out the LCM of 72 90 and 120 let us find out the prime factors this is 2 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 2 for 90 this is 2 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 1 120 this is 2 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 1 into 5 to the power 1 so let us find out the LCM and when we take LCM we take all the prime factors and their highest power highest power of 2 is 3 highest power of 3 is 2 and highest power of 5 is 1 so our answer will be 8 into 9 into 5 answer is 360 option C I'll go to the next problem next problem says find the greatest number of four digits which is exactly divisible by 48 60 and 64 a very common question find the greatest number of four digits which is divisible by 48 60 and 64 we know the greatest number of four digits is this but this is not our answer what you do is step one you find out the LCM of 48 60 and 64 now LCM of 48 60 and 64 is 960 So, I see that 960 is the LCM. So, what you can now do is, you try to take this 960 into a 4 digit value. A 4 digit value, you have to multiply it by 10, it will be 9600. So this is the greatest number of four digits which will be divisible by 48, 60 and 64. I'll repeat myself. 
the question is to find out the greatest number of four digits which is divisible by 48 60 and 64 then first you find out LCM of 48 60 and 64 which is 960 and you convert it into a four digit value I'll convert it by multiplying it by 10 because right now this is a three digit number if you multiply it by 10 it will become a four digit number this is the option one is the answer next question find the least number which when divided by 24 32 and 36 leaves the remainder 19 27 and 31 we have discussed this problem in number system also here we have to find the least number which when divided by 24 32 and 36 so we have to find one such number which will be when it will be divided by 24 32 and 36 it means that number should be in the numerator because your value 24 32 and 36 should divide that number so whenever it is whenever the values are divided or whenever the value should is in numerator basically we have to find out the LCM or we have to find out a number greater than given numbers number greater than these numbers will be the LCM and in the first case when you divide when the number is divided by 24 the remainder should be 19 by 32 the remainder should be 27 and by 36 the remainder should be 31 here notice one thing that the difference of all these is 5 common question so what you do is you find out the LCM of 24 32 and 36 and subtract 5 which is the common difference LCM of 24 32 and 36 is 288 minus 5 answer is 283 option 1 Next question find the least number which when divided by 18 24 30 and 42 will leave in each case the same remainder 1 here there is a same remainder which is 1 and understand that here the word is divided it means you have to find out the numerator value divided we'll have to find out the LCM and the remainder in each case should be 1 so, so when we will uh, when we in the question is asking to get the same remainder 1 in each case then we have to find out the LCM of 18 24 30 and 42 and add 1 to this LCM that will be your answer the LCM of 18 24 30 and 42 is 5 2 0 plus 1 
answer will be 252 option B problem find the greatest number which will A small error this is not divided this is divide eliminate this D which will divide 1 7 and 6 4 8 9 2 leaving the remainder 2 in each case so what you do is basically when the word is divide it means we have to find out denominator value and our value will be smaller which is the HCF now the remainder in each case so when the remainder is 2 in each case and we are finding HCF then step 1 the remainder from the values this will be 1 6 9 9 5 and this will be 6 4 8 9 0 now you find out the HCF of these two values you will take the HCF of these two values the HCF of 16995 and 64890 is 45 I hope there's no problem in finding the HCF now only these variations like each case or remainder 1 and 2 in each case they will be a uh, little new for you but using this approach you can very easily find the now one small thing there are a lot of variations like this so I request you to please revise these videos again and again so that you are not confused next question find the greatest number which is such that when 76 151 and 226 are divided by it the remainders alike so basically the question says you have to find a greatest number which is such that when 76 151 and 226 are divided by it divided by it it means that value should be in the denominator that value be 
denominator and the value which is in the denominator is basically a smaller value and the smaller value is HCF and the question says that remain like uh, we have also seen a question where the remainders are all alike so when remember this phrase remainders are all alike so what you do is you subtract these numbers between them so I will subtract 226 151 we will subtract 226 and 76 We will subtract 151 add 76 so what we will do is we will subtract these numbers amongst themselves so when we subtract 226 and 151 we get 75 when we subtract 226 and 76 we get 75 